I'm Emily, and I'm joined today by my team, uh, Sherry, Claudine, Heather, and Nkucha. We're the NARMS Collect team, and we're a collaborative group from the FDA and the Pennsylvania Department of Public Health. It's Friday morning, and Kim, a 28-year-old laboratorian, has already spent an hour mapping out her sample collection route for the day. She enjoys Fridays because it's meat shopping day and a chance to get away from the regular routine of the public health department. While shopping, Kim shuffles a paper inconspicuously in and out of her purse, and she uses sticky dots to organize the meat packages on the go. When Kim returns to her car, she quickly transfers her notes to her log sheets and off she goes to the next door. Six hours later, Kim has visited 10 stores, she's collected 40 meat packages, She's filled out 40 forms, and she's off to enjoy the weekend. Well, hello, Monday morning. Kim absolutely dreads Monday's, Monday mornings, don't we all? Every, everything she collected on Friday now has a paper trail to follow, as does the mileage she drove and the credit card she used to purchase them with. Kim collects samples for the FDA NARMS Retail Food Surveillance Program. This program analyzes retail meat for foodborne bacteria that are antibiotic resistant. Information and data provided by Kim and others is used for regulatory decision making, animal drug approvals, and to support judici judicious use guidances. Kim is integral to the NARMS program, and it is our team's goal to improve the process for collaborators like Kim to collect, manage, and transfer surveillance information to the FDA. So let me show you a journey map. This is Kim's overall process from beginning to end. And as you can see, it's really complicated. And here we've highlighted the problem areas where there's paperwork and a lot of manual entry along the way. So during our customer interviews, we often heard from Kim and others that the FDA log sheets are lengthy. They don't allow us to fly under the radar while we're in the store. It's frustrating having to fill out the same information three times. It's a logistical nightmare. And finally, the four to six hours spent in transcribing the information from paper forms to spreadsheets and information systems is a major pain point for all. So with these challenges in mind, our solution is to build a mobile app called NARMS Collect. It's free to download, and here's what the app would look like. I'll highlight just a few of the important features. First, we have the navigate function. This would identify locations for Kim to collect samples from and determine the best route. Next, we have the sample button, which would show a barcode scanner and a label recognition reader that will autofill the information needed for each sample. And lastly, in the bottom right corner, we have the sync button. This would transfer the saved information via Wi-Fi, direct connection, Bluetooth, or email to a database or laboratory information system. This app would essentially enable Kim the flexibility to collect real-time data in the field while appearing to look at a shopping list on her phone. So we've shared our prototype with our 14 NARM sites, and the enthusiasm to make this a reality has been overwhelming. We heard, we love it. When can we get it? So customers felt it would save on average 16 hours of data entry per month. This streamlined process would result in an estimated cost benefit of $6,000 annually per site. When you multiply that by the 14 NARM sites, that totals $84,000 saved for the FDA. So in conclusion, we feel an app like this would be valuable to more than just the NARMS program. There are several government agencies who conduct field investigations that could benefit from a flexible and real-time data collection app. So the government, as you know, is moving away from waste. So minimizing paper, saving both time and money is absolutely the way to go. In the next six months, we plan to gain additional support from leadership, develop a polished prototype, and look for funds to create this NARMS Collect app. So to learn more about our project, please look for us on the Idea Lab webpage. And on behalf of the NARMS Collect team, we thank you.